Let me present you Scaffold Hub and how you can save weeks of software development in your next web application. First, you must select a front-end framework. You can choose from Angular, Vue, or React. And for React especially, you have several UIs that you can choose from. I will choose Tailwind CSS. As you can see here in Technologies, it will generate a front-end React application with Tailwind CSS and Redux. And for the back-end, it will generate a Node.js server. And for the database, you can select from SQL or MongoDB. For SQL, you have Postgre or MySQL. Here in the modeling tool is where you will define your application. This is a sample application that starts with Scaffold Hub, but you of course can start a new project that is blank and you can add your own entities. But first let's see the properties. Here on the front end, you can select from the front end I've showed before. And here you select your database. The tenant mode is if you're building the application for one company only, you select single tenant, one client, one company only. But if you're building a software as a service and you want several clients, you must select multi-tenant. And also, if you want to add payments or not payments, use Stripe. And you can also set your default language for the application. This is just the default language. Inside the application, your users will be able to select their own. Okay, when we cre you create a new entity, you must define the name, which is the variable name inside the code. I'll use the customer for this simple example. And as you see, label is the way it will be displayed to the users and plural when you display it on lists, for example, it will use the plural version. For the fields, it already contains those fields for each one of the entities. And you, of course, must add more fields. And a customer, for example, must have a name and you can select the type of this field as you can see here, you have the most common types for, for fields and you also have some special ones like files where you can upload files and images and also relationship to other entities and the relationships to the user. The user is a special entity because the user is the one who access the application. So you don't need to add a user entity for your application. Okay, name is a text. And I want the name to show on the listing. And I want to create a filter for the name. Also, I want to export when exporting the, the customers. And here we can select the HTML types. We, for the name, it's just a simple text. But you also have text areas for descriptions, for example. And you can also define a hint and a placeholder for this field. But I'll skip that. And you, you can also add validations uh, for example, name sh must be required and a, a name is not unique. You can have several customers use the same name, but you may want to specify a max length for this name and also a min length. The name must be at least two characters. Oh, okay. So when you select a customer on a drop down, for example, you want to select which field will display there. So I will select the name. And here we have our first entity. I won't generate this application. I will use the, the sample one because it's more rich. As you can see, it has images, it has relationships to other entities. So I'll use this one. Okay, one thing. Uh, when we create a new project, it selects the default front end, which is end design. So let me change back to React Tailwind CSS. And okay, that's good. If you don't select the full language, it will use English. But okay, so let's continue. After you generate your application, Scaffold Hub will create a preview for you to access online. And, but this database is just temporary. It's just for you to open the application and check if it, this is what you need. 
before you download and run it on your computer. This will take between 5 and 10 minutes, so I will skip this video for when the preview is already created. Okay, the preview is ready, so let's open it. Because this is a preview application, it comes with the admin already created for you, but you can create a new account and also reset the password. Actually, emails don't work on preview mode, but just to show you the application. So let's sign in. It will ask you to create a new, the first workspace. So let's get the hub. And that's the application you generated. As you can see here, we have the entities that we defined on the modeling tool. This is the demo application, but you, of course, you have your own entity, your own fields here. Here on the products, for example, you have other types of fields like unit price must be a number and it contains all the validations. You can upload photos. Orders have this relationship fields like it, it contains one customer, several products, also a relationship to the user. In this case, it is the admin that comes with the application. And you can create a new one here on the same screen. And we have also those special pages like settings where you can select a logo and a background image for authentication, audit logs, where you can see our, all that was changed on the application. In our case, we just created a, a workspace, so that's here. And we can also manage users. Uh, the first one is the admin, but you can create new ones and type email in this invitation will send an email for the user and the user will have a link that will create access for him to this application for your tenant your or, or workspace and we also have plans this application is not does not contain any logic for plans on the entities but you can of course after users subscribe to the growth plan on stripe you can go and add like, okay only growth plans can create products or etc. But enough with this application. You can go and open the demos and play it yourself. Let's go back to the generator and download the application and run it locally. Okay, I will open a terminal folder. And I use Visual Studio, so with this command, I will open the Visual Studio on this. Also, I need to open the back end. You must have Node.js installed on your computer and I will place a link with the, all the steps needed to run the application so I'll just skip this one but first we need to install the dependencies for both back end and front end okay you have the dependencies installed on front end let's see the back end also installed for the backend, you must first create the database. Okay, now let's run the backend. Now it's time to run the front end. And here's the application running on your local host and you can add the code and customize the application as you need, as you want. The code is yours. You can extend as you please. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good time with Scaffold Hub. One more thing, I want to invite you to our Discord channel. I'll place the link on the description of the video. Here we are almost 200 developers and we share experiences with each other. We help 
with development issues so be welcome and have a good time with scaffold hub